Good morning, it is day 38 of my Camino and today I'm going from Melide to Salteda and it is about 25 kilometers, so a very long day today. I'm thinking about some options to cut that short and add some to tomorrow potentially. We'll see how I feel. It's supposed to be a pretty warm day, so we'll just take it slow and see how things go, whether I walk the whole 25 today or whether I walk part way and then finish it up tomorrow. We'll see. I'll of course let you know what I do. It is about 7.15 in the morning and I am on my way out of town. Pretty cool weather so far this morning, but it'll heat up. And I'm walking up a hill, so I'm already getting winded. Great start. Here's a place to make a choice. You can see there's an arrow going to the left, an arrow going to the right. And what this says is that the red route is the recommended route. And it goes through over a river. So we'll do what they say is recommended. Let's go to the right. I guess this is the river they recommended we walk over or at least alerted us to. So let's cross that little bridge. For my first break of the day, I'm having fresh squeezed orange juice and a orange flavored cake. So orange themed break. Ran into the couple from England that I've been seeing a lot on and off the next or the last few days got about 20 kilometers left today planning to try to stop every five to six kilometers just to keep refueling and get my legs some time because i'm determined to try to make this entire 25 kilometers today so we will see how it goes but so far so good. Don't you love these stone buildings? I just think they're so cool. That's why I keep showing them to you. So hopefully you're not bored of cute stone buildings. See you again soon. Coming up on a town called Ribadiso. It is just before 11 o'clock. I read that after this town, there's a pretty steep hill. So I think I'm gonna look for a place to take a break here, get something to drink, rest my legs, and be ready for that climb. That brownie with walnuts was excellent. Now let's go tackle this hill. Coming now into Arthua, a little bigger town again, but I'm walking all the way through this one. I think I have maybe a little over 10 kilometers left. It's noon. So 10 kilometers usually takes me a little over three hours. I'll probably stop and eat at some point. So hopefully I'll get to my destination by about four o'clock. That would be, that would be good for me, I think.
back out into the forest, which is nice because the temperature is rising, so I'll be happy to get into shade. One thing I noticed as I was walking through Arthua was that the ball of my left foot felt like it was getting the same kind of blister that my right foot had early on. So I stopped on a bench, took my socks off, and I had a ball of the foot blister pad left over still from before. So I slapped that on there. Feels better already. That's something that's really important to keep in mind if you're thinking of doing a Camino, is the second something feels wrong on your foot, you need to stop. Because if I had kept going another 10 kilometers, I'm sure I would have had a bad blister. So fix that. Now back up some more hills. Just had a short break because I ran into the British couple and so I thought I would stop and just have a quick drink and talk to them because I hadn't seen them since earlier today and I probably won't again until Santiago on Saturday because we're going to be a little off of each other's paces tomorrow. It's about two o'clock. I have around eight kilometers left and I think I do want to stop yet for lunch if I find a place that has substantial food. A lot of the bar food is just snacky kinds of stuff or breakfast. Um, and I would like something a little more appropriate for lunch. So, so I'm thinking it'll be between four and five by the time that I get to where I'm staying. And then we'll see how I feel about what's going to happen for the evening. Last time I walked 25 kilometers, I did not leave the room once I got in it because I was so tired. But today I'm feeling quite a bit better. I'm not as tired as the last time I did 25 kilometers. It's a beautiful day today, which makes a huge difference. So we'll just keep plugging along and see what end up what I end up doing. It's 3.30. have about a mile to go. I didn't stop to eat anything after that last break because there really wasn't anything open. A lot of places close at 3 for siesta time and then open back up later. So I wasn't able to get a proper lunch, but that's okay. Hopefully I'll find something good for dinner and I'll have some snacks when I get to the hotel. And everything should be fine in that regard. I'm not starving or anything, so it's fine. So another mile to go, maybe 20 minutes. Almost there. Hooray! Made it to South Ada. Now I just have to find my hotel. Here's where I'm staying, the Albergue Alborada. Here is the room. I love another room with stone walls. That is great. Bathroom. This is cute. That reminds me. I've never been on a cruise ship, but I hear they do that on cruise ships. So. And then a view of fields, it's very pretty. So that actually wasn't terrible for 25 kilometers. Of all the 25 kilometers I've done, this was the easiest one. I'm not quite as exhausted. In fact, today was even better than the previous several days. The last maybe two or three days kind of felt like a death march a little bit, but just really tough hard to get my legs going. Today was better. Um, so maybe because I knew this was the last really tough day. Tomorrow is about 18 kilometers and the last day is around nine. So um, maybe my brain and my body just figured we can get through one more of these days. One thing that's nice here is they do your laundry for you. So I'm going to do that first and then we're going to figure out food. Heading back to my hotel after a really great meal. I also had my fun cat friend who I shared a little bit of my chicken with. And of course, he walked away as soon as the chicken wasn't on the table anymore. So I guess I wasn't that good of a friend. Oh well. So 
join me tomorrow for my last full day of walking as I am getting very close to wrapping up my Camino de Santiago. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.